So homicide detectives are asking for the public's help in identifying human remains discovered in a river more than a month ago. A fisherman made the shocking discovery last month, and since then, investigators have been struggling to figure out who this person is. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sharon Roger. Tonight, the sheriff's department released a sketch and a photo, hoping it will lead to a break in the case. CBS 13's Mark jo Thompson is live on the scene in Rio Vista with the very latest. Mark. Sharon, the victim's remains were discovered in the water here near the docks. It's been more than a month, and while homicide detectives are making progress, they still don't know who she is. The remains were discovered in a plastic bag by a fisherman here on the McCullough Main River back on April 8th. You know, I'm a local here. I live at Willow Berm, and uh, I, I always take walks down here. And Calvin Bagans was here that day as police began the process of determining who, what, when, and where the victim was killed. Oh, I heard that this is kind of a catch all for a lot of, you know, the water flow that comes down from anywhere from Sacramento, north of Sacramento, and down to here. So, you know, it may have been something up there in a more populated area like Sacramento, but it may have been something down here. And, you know, that's that's creepy to think about that, you know, maybe it could have been something closer. Homicide detectives now know the remains found are that of a white or Hispanic woman between 25 and 40 years old with shoulder length brown or auburn hair between 5'2 and 5'6 with a medium build. Investigators releasing a sketch and photo of the most distinguishing characteristics. They say the victim had her tongue pierced with a stud inserted through it and noticeable gaps between both her upper and lower front two teeth. She had double piercings in each ear, but no earrings. We know that somebody out there knows this woman. Somebody knows she's missing. But until someone comes forward, investigators will continue to analyze the physical evidence, like checking DNA against databases. We use different crime laboratories as well as uh, different resources available to us throughout the state. Like a forensic artist to eventually sketch out the entire face and reaching out to local colleges and universities. Assisting us in, in actually making models of what they may have looked like. With one ultimate goal and help us move this investigation forward and find justice for this young homicide victim. Coming up on June 9th, the Sheriff's Department will be hosting an event at Sac State titled Missing in California. There they will bring in law enforcement agencies from multiple counties. They will swap records and evidence and collaborate to hopefully solve some of these missing persons cases that have since gone cold. But for now, they just want someone to step forward on this one. Sharin? Back to you. All right. So hopefully someone will. Mark, thank you.